Good Saturday morning to you. Um, I fed the horses. I've cleaned their stalls already. Um, and then the clouds are rolling in. Look at that. We actually have a cool breeze. You know, I don't know about this universe sometimes. They, it boils us and then it drenches us. Hey, it's not as bad as all you folks down in Vegas, though. I feel sorry for you. Sorry. Oh. You know what, though? When I lived there, I used to live in Louisiana where it's, it's you know, very humid and you're wet all the time and everything. And when I uh, lived in Pahrump and different places like that, people come up to me and they go, at least it's a dry heat. <sighs> I tell you, if I'd have had enough energy, I probably would have knocked them out. I'm telling you, heat is heat. Miserable is miserable. Dry or wet. So anyway, I don't know what to believe. So I'm going to get the tarp. And let's see if we can do it right there. Here. Yeah. It's all my stuff out in the elements. I hate it. But for the time being, I have no choice. But I have a big tarp. And I'm going to put the big tarp over it. And every time I want to, like I'm cooking in the house. So every time I need an ingredient or something, I have to walk all the way back down here and get it. And that's okay. You know, it keeps me fit, sort of. I'm far from fit. I'm out of breath just from walking from the house to here, and that's nothing. And as you can hear, <laughs> Betty has her toy, and she thinks it's her time now, too. This is her favorite toy. Thank you, Izzy. Thank you for all the others that have replaced this as many zillions of times as it's been replaced, because it is her favorite, obviously. Oh. Anyway, I hope you all are doing okay out there. It's, you know, I hear a lot of things and I read a lot of posts and a lot of you are pretty weary and I understand that fully. I've had a reprieve for a little while and I'm so grateful because, you know, trying to live with Crohn's disease, even a regular sticks and bricks house is rough. Um, <clears throat> trying to keep clean, fresh, what's that, um, on the road while you're facing the elements and having to do all the daily chores you must do as a nomad, whether you have to move every day, twice a day, or, you know, once every 15 days and stuff. Anyway, I hear the new stickers are out, so, and they're only 180. They didn't go up to the 300, I suppose, that they said that they were. Either way, I won't be buying one. Um, I don't know what the future holds right now, but going back on the road just doesn't sound fun to me. I mean, maybe... You know, kind of local stuff or something, sure, but I don't know, you know, I don't know. We'll have to see how things go. I'm really enjoying the way things are happening now, and I've made a lot of new friends. They have a lot of fun toys. And so we're supposed to go for a, a trike. They called it a trike ride into, where did they say? Oh, jeez, up Highway 1, Ragged Point. <clears throat> I'm up for that. And um, anyway, they have a lot of adventures. They go on. They're an adventure couple. And uh, and we're going to go fishing and all kinds of other fun stuff. Anyway, I got to get going. It's starting to look ugly. So I better get everything tarped up because what little I have, I don't want to lose. That's for sure. And we all know about that, don't we? Okay, stay safe out there. Make sure you have plenty of water. Reach out if you need help. Uh, I'm talking mentally or, you know, you break down or whatever. There's somebody usually around where you are or usually will, will lend an ear as well, you know. So don't be afraid to reach out. It's a different lifestyle for many of you. And we all kind of have to depend on each other for whatever it is we need sometimes you know we don't have that little village we get up and say howdy neighbor every morning well some of us do and and you know you got to learn a new way sometimes when you're older so anyhow like i said be careful out there 
stay hydrated, make sure your animals are hydrated, be, be really sensitive to how hot it is when you take them for walks and stuff, and put your hand to the ground, because that's where they'll be walking. If your hand is too hot, their feet are too hot. That has always been a rule for me, and I don't know, and then I put my hand down there, that told me quickly what, what was going on. So try that. That that never failed me. Anyway, be good. Be helpful. And smile. Don't forget to smile. Bye-bye.